Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about daisy flower essence. Hi, my name's Corrine, and here at Spirea, I share videos that weave together plant wisdom, holistic health, self-sufficiency with just a dash of magic. If this sounds interesting to you, I'd love for you to stick around. So I'm really excited to share this video with you today, because if you've been on my channel long enough, then you know that I often talk about paying attention to the plant species that seem to be growing in abundance around you, that seemingly pop up out of nowhere, or you're just noticing more often, this is usually a good sign that the plant will either be needed in the future, either by you or the human collective at large, or potentially that the plant has messages um, or spiritual healing for you. And one of the plants I'm gonna walk around uh, into the heat. It's really hot here today, so I'm going to be filming in the shade as much as possible. But one of the plants that I'm noticing and that my students are starting to notice that's popping up everywhere is oxeye daisy, which is our kind of wild daisy species that grows here in southern Ontario. I'm sure it actually grows throughout most of North America. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you oxeye daisy, and then we're going to talk about some of the more metaphysical, spiritual, energetic healing properties that Daisy has for us because while we can use um, oxi, so Leucanthemum vulgar, while we can use it medicinally, my strong intuitive feeling is that this plant is coming up right now because the flower essence is in need. And if you're not familiar with flower essences, I'm going to link a video that I did, which was kind of an introductory to flower essences. I highly recommend you check it out because it's got some great information and it'll give you kind of a baseline knowledge moving forward because I do plan on sharing a lot more flower essence videos this summer. So this is oxeye daisy, which looks a lot like daisy daisy now, doesn't it? Uh, see, oh, there we go. Clear picture of those petals, obviously in the aster family. In terms of leaf identification, something's going on with a chicken <laughs> over there. Uh, you can see that the leaves kind of have a distinct lobed tooth pattern and that they do move in alternate patterns up the stem, how we identify it. Now, I strongly believe that if you say grow Shasta daisies or other types of daisies, that you would be able to work with this plant as well to make your flower essences. Of course, you can support a local herbalist and purchase flower essences if you decide that this is one of those plants that you really need to be working with. And actually, I'll take you over to the Shasta daisies in the garden here, and they're about to bloom. You can tell they'll probably bloom in the next week or so. But all around my neighborhood, the oxeye daisies have popped up absolutely everywhere. We have another Shasta Daisy right over there. So I would feel perfectly fine using this plant to make medicine with in terms of flower essences as well. When we're capturing the essence of the flower, we can totally do that. But if I go walking just up and down my neighborhood streets, they are lined with oxeye daisies right now. So to me, that's a really strong indicator that this plant's medicine really needs to be used. All right, so I've escaped the heat. It's, uh, it's really warm today and we haven't had much of a chance to acclimatize to it. It's uh, almost 30 degrees Celsius here today, plus humidity. And this weekend I was in a uh, sweater and long pants because it was so cold. So we haven't had much of a chance to adapt. But I wanted to talk to you about why we would want to work on an energetic level with daisies medicine um, and when we talk about flower essences again i do recommend that you check out that sort of introductory video that i have 
because it'll give you a good baseline knowledge if you're not familiar with flower essences. In general, flower essences are used to treat more emotional states. Um, you can do a lot of deep spiritual work with them, but they're not necessarily designed to work on physiological states, like physical healing. That being said, when we start to heal the other layers of the body, the spirit, the soul, um, the mind, and sort of the mental landscape, we inevitably experience physical healing as well. So I hesitate to say that, you know, there's no physical healing happening. That's not really how it works, but we definitely uncover and peel back layers of more emotional um, states when we work with flower essences. So I've got my notes in front of me so I don't forget any of the beautiful medicine that Daisy has to offer. And again, you can choose to make your own flower essences if this is something that you're interested in. Um, you may like to join my monthly membership platform because we will actually in the month of July and into August we will be learning how to make flower essences but if that's not your particular cup of tea it's really easy to find flower essences now lots of herbalists including myself have them available so I have oxide daisy flower essence on my website but like I said lots of plant workers make these medicines so one of the reasons why someone may be drawn to work with Daisy is it helps to promote clarity and understanding when people feel that their thoughts are fragmented or somehow scattered and they're not able to really sort of cohesively organize the way that they're thinking or the message, messages that they're trying to relay or put out into the world, you know, these maybe the words aren't coming in the way that you would like or things just feel really cloudy or foggy daisy can really help to bring clarity to those situations and helps to organize thoughts in a way that makes them more easier uh, hmm, sorry not more easier just easier to process so this would make daisy an excellent remedy for students for writers for people who have a really deep creative process and at times find that process sort of scattered or without direction, Daisy would be strongly indicated for that type of personality and for those types of peoples or that situation. Not all of us live in these states every day. We just move through them. We flow through them from moment to moment. And so if you find yourself in a moment like that, Daisy could be very supportive. It's also very helpful to help individuals live within a more holistic framework in terms of the way that they think about things and the way that they create things. So it helps to bring about balance through that whole process of thought forms and creation. So you're already starting to see a bit of a pattern in how Daisy helps us. It also helps to bring information in a more cor my cat is of course. Every time I do a video, especially if there's any sort of spiritual or energetic uh, component to it. My cat is always floating around and he keeps bumping into the table. Um, as I was saying, Daisy really helps to bring thoughts into more coherent form and again allowing you to really express them in a way. So perhaps I could utilize this before I say hop on camera and film a video so that way if I just can't seem to get my thoughts and my words out, Daisy would help support in that particular instance. Or maybe you've got a big presentation at work and you're going to have to talk to, you know, oodles of people. It might be a great um, remedy to help sort of bring center and balance you in that way. Yes, Malfoy. Hello. Hello. It also helps bring in clarity whenever we have lack of direction. Whenever we're not really sure what the next right step is and what the next right path is for us, should I turn right, should I turn left, maybe the world is really open to you in this particular moment and you're just uncertain what the next best step is for you, for your own evolution and growth, Daisy would be excellent and supportive for that. It's also really a great remedy for moments of confusion or feeling overwhelmed. Daisy helps to ground us back into sort of ourself again into more coherent thought patterns and helping to alleviate those feelings of kind of feeling ungrounded and uncertain and again that overwhelming sort of 
notion that we may have in that moment. I'm finding it really fascinating that as I'm filming this and sharing the beauty and the magic that is um, daisy flower essence and energetic uh, sort of remedies with you, I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> And, you know, I think instead of uh, deleting this whole thing and starting again, I think it shows, sort of encapsulates a perfect moment where I probably should have gone and grabbed my daisy flower essence to be able to create these more coherent thought forms for you. But instead, what it's showing is a perfect example of when daisy would be really, really useful. One of my favorite times to use daisy flower essence is when clients are struggling to find themselves and come back to sort of center, come back to their own soul, their own being and who they are. And Daisy really helps to do that and keeping us sort of emotionally grounded and balanced. And oftentimes when I have clients that feel, again, that sense of overwhelm and that lack of direction and potentially confusion about, you know, what the heck am I doing here kind of thing, um, that sort of energy that's when during a consultation it'll become very clear that oxide daisy or daisy flower essence just in general would be really strongly indicated and finally for those who work with the chakra system of healing oxide daisy works very specifically on the third eye uh, so if and anything associated with that kind of energetic vortex would be appropriate to use oxide daisy for. So if you work within the realms of chakras and you're feeling that the areas that the third eye governs are where you really need a lot of support, this could be an excellent plant ally for you to embrace and get to know. So I want to thank you for joining Daisy and I on what I'm hoping is going to be an entire series on flower essence videos that I can share with you all. To be very honest, as a herbalist, some of the most profound healing I've ever experienced either in myself, my family, or my clients has been thanks to the magic and wonder of energetic healing with plants. And while there is definitely a time and a place for physical healing, which we all need, I do firmly believe that we are all uh, multidimensional and the most complete form of healing, evolution and growth happens when we embrace, support and work on all aspects of our being. So if you have any questions about Daisy Flower Essence, um, if you feel like it's right for you or you're questioning that, you can either leave those below or feel free to send me an email. And until next time, this is Corrine from Spirea Herbs wishing you health and wellness.